OMG everyone, these are great deals to take advantage of before Saturday, I think. Let me know in the comments after you finish seeing the haul and how much I paid. So yes, we've got digital coupons, plus there's a promotion that is meshing with those digital coupons, making this deal even better. And I did an, two deals in two separate store at an old system store, getting cash back for these. So as you know, our $5 off of 15 is applying to Purex and Purcell. That is exactly what I have pictured here. In order for the coupon to work, we have to be at $15. So, of course, I picked up the Purex, and that is at $6. And the Purex with Oxy, the pods, that one was at $5.75. However, the coupon that states 2 for 10 is applying to those products. I made sure to scan the back of the barcodes. And I really want to emphasize to scan the back of the barcodes. Let me tell you, I am in New Bronzeville, Texas, and the stock was very low. This is all I could find that would qualify here in this particular store. And I'll share with you exactly what I mean, why it's imperative that you scan the back of the barcodes. So remember, I did the two for 10 that qualified for the Purex products. The per, the per sale is $5.50, and there's a $1.50 coupon. So my five off of 15 is gonna qualify for this purchase, along with the dollar and 50 for the Purcell and the two for 10 for Purex. So I'm gonna to go to the register like I always do, pay for this transaction, and then I'm gonna come back and share with you the receipt and how it all worked out. Here you go, everyone. Beautiful, beautiful transaction. Paid $7.25 pre-tax. Not a bad deal with an extra $1.50 cents more in the savings. I think there's a little glitch going on because they're giving us that coupon two for ten. Of course I met the threshold at fifteen dollars so it took the five and then of course the dollar and fifty for the per sale. So if you add the dollar fifty for the per sale two dollars for the uh, two for ten two dollars off and then the five dollars it comes out to eight dollars and fifty cents. So you can look, the savings was $10. So there's an $1.50 more coming from somewhere. If anybody can articulate a little bit better than what I'm doing or can figure this out, let us know in the comments below. However, this is a great savings that I think these items are not gonna be stocked in the store come Saturday with our five off 25. It's all up to you. You base it on your store and how uh, well it's stocked. However, in this transaction, I got $2 cash back. So making this purchase just $5.25, divide this by those three items, making each item $1.75. Or detergent, these days, $1.75? Yes, I'm definitely gonna do this deal. So it, like I said, you base it on your needs and what you need for your household if you need it now or you wanna wait until Saturday and take the risk. Now, I do wanna state, please scan the back of the barcodes so let's go ahead and take a look at the next deal because that's where it's imperative to scan the... Okay, so here at the second store, I went ahead and just went to the register, picked up that Purcell you see there for 20 loads and two of the Purex for 28 pods. So those were advertised at two for 10 and of course the Purcell was in the $5.50 section with the $1.50 digital. So I just grabbed it, I did not scan it. Big mistake. So yes, it was $5.50. If you notice, it's a 20 load, but the $1.50 digital coupon did not attach. Therefore, it was making my deal a lot more. And for some reason for this one, the $5 off of 15 did not attach either. So what I did was voided the transaction and asked her kindly if I could go back and pick up some more items. Now, let me show you exactly what I picked up in my second transaction. This is what I mean that it is imperative to scan the back of your barcodes. I'm not sure if that is because of the load size on that Purcell, particular Purcell, but for some reason it did not attach to my five off of 15 or even the $1.50 digital. So I just went ahead and did another deal. Let me show you exactly what I took advantage of. Now for this deal, I went ahead and did the Purcell pods, making sure of scanning the back of the barcodes and the $1.50 attached, as well as my $5 when I met my $15 threshold. I went ahead and got more bang for my buck with those Purex pods at 35 count. 
those were also two for 10 for 35 count. So be mindful of your products, especially if you have a choice to pick up certain particular ones with more, um, more items in them or more ounces, however you wanna uh, say it here. So however, I picked up at what you see, the two Purex 35 count and the Purcell uh, pods. My transaction was 25 cents more. Let me share with you my receipt. Okay, so after avoiding out the first transaction, went back and picked up, as I mentioned, the Purcell pods and the Purex 35 count pods. I ended up paying $7.50, 25 cents more than the first transaction. However, I saved a dollar extra. So where did that come from? I know there's something glitching in the system. So the $2 came off, the two for 10, my $1.50, my $5 came off, so therefore an additional dollar extra came off. And I received a dollar cash back in my account. Again, reiterating, in an old system store is where I did these transactions. Two separate Dollar Generals, but two were the old system stores. I paid $6.50 after my $1 cash back came back, making each one at $2.60. 16 cents in this particular purchase. Very odd, and I mean the difference was here I picked up nothing but pods. First transaction was liquid and a pod, so I have no idea what's going on, but somewhere in there in the Dollar General it is glitching. So thank you Dollar General, I'll definitely take advantage of it. Hope to go back and hit some more Dollar Generals. Right now I know these two are particularly out of these items to make a deal. So I'm definitely on my way back home going to stop and see what else I can find. Just wanted to come out and share with you what is out there and to be mindful of scanning those products to make sure that those items do indeed attach to your five off of 15 and your $1.50 as well as your two for 10. I hope you have found my video informative. If so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we'll definitely see you in our next savings video. And don't forget, I love to hear from each and every one of you. So any feedback is good feedback. Leave a comment down below and a thumbs up. See you in the next one.